So settling into your meditation posture, posture that's relaxed and comfortable, natural, and at the same time, attentive. So just be beginning with a kind of a mini body scan, scanning through the body to see if there's any areas uh, holding tension. And if you notice any areas that are tight or tense, whether it be in the face area or the neck or the shoulders, wherever it is, just simply bringing your attention to that place in the body. So not trying to get rid of the tension, but simply allowing attention to be placed on the the tense area. And if the area is perhaps particularly tense or even you know, painful in some way, you might try breathing into that area of the body, kind of imagining the breath flowing into that area and then flowing out. If you find that helpful. The whole idea is simply placing attention and focusing attention in a particular place in the body where there is tension. Next, in the, in the process of meditation, we, we bring attention to our anchor, to our home base. And that anchor could be the sensations of the breath, or it could be uh, body sensations in other places in the body, or even sounds. So selecting a, an anchor and focusing in your attention on that that anchor, the breath, the body, or sounds. Just allowing attention to focus right in on this, this anchor. This anchor is kind of your, your home base. If you get distracted by thought, carried away by thoughts, it's the place from to which you can come back to to come back to the present moment. It's also kind of a process of training attention. So bringing your attention to your anchor and concentrating attention on that, that place or sounds.
You could get pulled away from the anchor by some other experience. Most often it's likely thoughts. Just gently and with compassion, drawing your attention back to the breath, the body, or the sounds. It's important that this is done without any self-judgment or frustration. And just recognizing that it's, it's going to happen again and again, and it's part of this meditation practice. And if the mind is particularly restless and active, there's a, two things you can experiment with. One is saying to yourself, in on the in-breath and out on the out-breath as you focus attention on the breath at the tip of the nose or the belly. So that's one method. A second option is to, while you're maintaining attention on the breath in the background, bring your foreground of attention into thoughts and just wait for thoughts to arise. So you catch them as soon as they bubble up, you're noticing them before they carry you away. There's two methods that you can play around with if the mind is restless. If it's not restless, it's simply going back to following, focusing attention on your anchor.
And when you focus attention in this way, you may notice that the, the body calms, there's some stillness in the body. You might notice that the mind follows as well. There's perhaps some stillness and ease, some peace in the mind. There may be fewer thoughts arising. Is from this simple act of bringing attention to a specific object, like the breath, the body, or sounds. It's a shift out of what for many human beings is a kind of relentless spinning, going from one thing to the next, often lost in thought. So as you notice the the body and the mind, perhaps come to some easefulness, just dwelling in that, that stillness and peace. And if the egoic mind begins spinning thoughts again, that's okay. That's that's what it does. Once you've noticed, you can come back to your place of peace and stillness. It's always there, just waiting for your attention. You may be resting and dwelling in presence and stillness, or perhaps thoughts are still bubbling up. Either way, the the practice continues. If thoughts continue to arise, perhaps noticing that there's always a gap between thoughts, noticing the gap rather than the thoughts,
and remembering that the anchor is there to come back to, if you get distracted, pulled away with the thought train. And presence is also always there to come back to. As you notice the gap between thoughts, perhaps investigating that gap a little bit. What is it? What is there in between the thoughts? Sensing into the gap. Not an intellectual analysis, but more of an insight or sensing, a felt sense of what the gap feels like. Perhaps noticing its spaciousness. Perhaps noticing its stillness. It's quiet. Whatever, however it feels or intuitively senses for you, just feeling and sensing that that gap between thoughts, getting a feel for it, getting to know it as much as you know the the process of thinking. Get to know the gap 